Hi, welcome to or back to Mel KB Vlogs. Today I'm just going to talk to you all about why I decided to join Actors Equity. There were a lot of like reasons um, why I did and I've been thinking about it for a long time ever since open access started which is basically equity's way of making it more accessible for people to join equity in an attempt to make the divide between non-equity and equity way less stark so before to get into equity you had to get i think it originally was 50 emc points which i'll explain what that means they brought it down to 25 a few years ago and now it's different so EMC points are points that you get from working at an equity theater as a non-union member. Um, so for example, I worked at the North Carolina theater for three weeks, so I got three EMC points. You originally needed 50 to join the union. Now most people would get that through like summer stock um, opportunities throughout college. So. I can kind of see how people would rack up those points, but it's hard because if you didn't do that during college or when you were younger, it's harder to book those jobs once you're a bit older because they tend to, those theaters want to hire the younger crowd. They want to hire kids in college. Um, also those jobs barely pay, so it's also a lot more unrealistic for people who have graduated and are now living on their own without the help of their parents to be able to afford to take those jobs. And a lot of people can't even afford to take those jobs when they're in college. Um, you know, not everybody has parents who can support them. So it just became, it was very um, privileged to be able to join the union. And the other obvious way to join the union would be to book an equity contract, which usually would mean a Broadway show or a Broadway tour, or if you were lucky, offered an equity contract at a regional theater. Um, but to do that, you have to be one of the lucky non-union to be seen at an equity audition, which we all know to do that, that's waking up at like 4 or 5 a.m., making sure you're early on the list, get seen, lucky enough to be seen, lucky enough to book. It was a lot. So during the pandemic, equity came out with open access which basically means if you can prove you have worked professionally as an actor you can decide to join the union which i think that's brilliant i think that is fair you know if if you have if you are a working professional you should be able to join a union that protects working professionals catch my drift so that's the tea there but the decision between or the decision for choosing to be equity is very hard because becoming equity blocks you off of an entire slew of jobs. So for example, the A Chorus Line tour that I did, non-equity. So now that I am equity, I can't audition for things like that again, non-equity tours. And a lot of big shows are going out non-equity, like the Cher show this year, Shrek, Chicago, um what else so many so many shows i can't even think but yeah so by becoming equity i can't do those jobs um also by becoming equity i can't do regional theater work unless i'm offered the equity contract so for example um i just auditioned for a regional theater a few or yesterday that was the first equity audition i did but it literally said on the listing and this was an equity audition, but it said um, there are only five to six equity contracts per show. So you also now, once you're equity, you can be seen for all of these things, which is awesome. But only five to six roles in each show will be equity. So your chances of booking are a lot less. Um, and each theater has a different like quota or I don't know how to explain it. They have a different number of equity contracts that they offer. Um, so yeah, it really depends, but basically it becomes a lot harder to book regional work if you are equity. So now you're probably like, why would she choose to do that? 
As you've seen in my vlogs, being non-equity, it becomes really hard to get seen at auditions. You have to either wake up really early or spend your whole day at these audition studios waiting to be seen for things. And when I first moved here in like my first few years in New York, I was okay with that. I had the, I was very green and I had the stamina to do all of that as a young performer. I also um, didn't have as many responsibilities back then. Like I, my bills weren't nearly as high. I also had um, more of an opportunity to get help from my parents when I was freshly graduated from college, kind of figuring this all out. Um, but now that I'm older, I'm almost 30 years old. It's completely different. Like, I unfortunately don't have time to sit all day in Pearl Studios. I, I don't, I don't have time. I have a million jobs I have to get to. And also as I'm older, I don't have as much energy to like hustle through the days as I used to. Um, I also have a lot of chronic illnesses. So that like plays a part as well. I'm not just saying it's cause like I'm getting older. 29 is not that old, but I do feel very different than I did when I was 22 living here doing this whole thing. So that has been a big part of it. Every time I've spent one of those days recently, I'm like, this just doesn't feel right to me anymore. Like I do not feel like I'm at the point in my career where I need to be sitting around all day. I should be seen with those other people. And I've kind of been like feeling that a lot. And then finally I had a, an aha moment where it hit me. So, um, a few weeks ago, I went to audition for the Cabaret Revival, the Broadway Revival of Cabaret. Um, I think it's a show I would be really right for. I really wanted to be seen. Um, so I went and normally my rule is I only sign up on the non-equity list like 8 a.m. earliest. But this show, I was like, you know what? I really want to be seen. I'm going to go early. So I got there at like 7.25 a.m. I was like number 120 something on the non-equity list at seven something in the morning. The audition didn't even start until 10 a.m. So I signed up and as I was doing that, I literally had a moment where I was like, I'm not doing this shit anymore. Like I, I don't have time for this. I really don't. And like on that day, um, I would have sat there all day and then I taught from five o'clock to 8 p.m. And I also have my like remote jobs I need to be doing. So I just was like, I'm not gonna sit here all day to maybe get seen, probably not, like most likely not get seen, and then show up to my job later, be exhausted teaching my fitness classes. Like, no, that's not the life I wanna live. And I was just thinking about the equity members waking up that morning, knowing they have a slot, knowing that they're gonna get seen, and I just felt it in my soul. I was like, that's where I need to be at this point in my life. Like I just felt it. And as I signed my name, I was like, this is my last time doing this. So then it's like 7.30 in the morning. I call my mom, wake her up. I'm like, girl, I'm joining the union. Like I can't do this anymore. And she was like, I completely agree. We like talked through it. And I just like had all these feelings. Um, so that was like my main moment. But then also there are so many other things to factor in. So also another thing is a lot of people were like, okay, but like you're cutting yourself off for, from all of these jobs. But the thing is also at this stage of my life, I don't really want to be doing any of those jobs because they are, if it's non-equity, it's a lower paying. Um, a lot of the regional theater uh, non-equity tracks are like, 200 300 maybe 400 dollars a week some theaters are a little bit better but it's not a living wage and if i were to book these regional gigs and leave my day jobs in new york i would be losing money like the, i would be taking a financial stumble by taking those jobs and even like the non-union tours for example um the average pay is like six seven hundred dollars a week for a Broadway production contract tour, I'm pretty sure the minimum, it's 2000 something, maybe 2200 a week. So it's like triple the amount you would get on a non-equity tour. And again, when I did the chorus line tour when I was 23, 
that was so fine that was completely fine but now that i'm 29 and i'm trying to really like build a life for myself taking jobs like that just isn't financially a good decision anymore um i also do feel very confident and like satisfied with my career so far like i did a dream tour i've done a few regional theaters i've you know done the cruise ships and i feel very satisfied with it so i also don't feel like by taking this next step if i'm if i don't work as often i'm okay with that like i'd rather my day-to-day -day life the quality of my day-to-day -day life feel better than continue to struggle and book these low-paying jobs if that makes sense um yeah there's just so many things that go into this it's like really hard to explain <laughs> um but yeah oh so then the other thing was along with like it becoming difficult to be seen as non-union i also felt like i wasn't able especially in the most recent years like post covid i haven't been able to get into rooms consistently to be making connections with casting directors and the reason you want to make connections with casting directors is if your agent is submitting you for appointments you hopefully want that casting director eventually to recognize that headshot or recognize your name like oh yeah i've seen her for a few things like she does great work you want to be a face that they know and right now i know when my agent is submitting me to things all of these casting directors are probably like they don't recognize me at all they're like who's that but there's probably other people they see more often that they recognize so also like i'm not getting a lot of appointments partly maybe because i don't have a connection with these casting directors so i think by me being able to show up to these equity auditions on a weekly basis being seen by all of the different casting offices Hopefully I'll be able to, you know, do good work in the room, get my face out there so that they recognize me and that I'm making these connections. Um, so I think that's really going to help. And kind of putting all of that together, I think ultimately I sat down and I was like, I'm paying like minimum $2,000 a month to live here in New York City. And I'm living here to audition for these jobs, right? Why am I paying that much money if I'm barely gonna get seen? Or if I'm gonna have to like kill myself to be seen at these auditions? And the clear answer for me was if I join the union, I am taking matters into my own hands. I'm saying at least I will be seen and get to show up and do good work in the room, make connections, feel productive in my career. And I think that also makes me feel better about the money I'm spending to live here and all of the side jobs I have to do to make that happen. I feel a lot better about that now, knowing I'm actually being seen. And to me in my life right now, that's the most important thing. I wanna feel like I'm being productive in my career. I'm not holding back anymore, like balls to the walls. I'm an equity member now. I'm showing up to these auditions and I'm doing what I do. And that's that. And that feels really good, like really good. Even like practicing my voice lessons now and singing through my repertoire book, I feel more productive about it now because I'm like, oh yeah, I know I'm gonna sing this song next week in this audition. Where before I'd be like, hopefully I get to sing this song, probably won't get to. Um, or even like going to dance classes, I feel even more motivated because I'm like, wow, all of this work I'm putting into going to classes consistently is helping because now I'm going to dance auditions more consistently and can put things into practice quickly and then also I'm going into dance auditions more and learning what I need to work on more so then I go and take class and everything just becomes more productive I love productivity <laughs> um yeah I hope all of that makes sense so yeah I feel really good about this decision um and that's kind of my whole thought process of joining 
so I hope that makes sense to some of you and for people watching I'm sure everybody if you're a performer like everybody's at a different stage in their career and in their life um, and if you watch my video from a few years ago where I talk about why I wasn't gonna join the union um, you know I was at a completely different place so whatever place you're at that is totally fine I'm not making this video to be like everybody needs to join the union it's totally like does it align with like your life right now your goals kind of like how things are going for you so for me I feel like it was exactly the time to make this decision and yeah I feel good about it <laughs> okay, I'm done with my spiel thank you so much for watching make sure you comment any questions you have share this with other people um, let me know anything else you want me to talk about and have a good day bye